second graders. Happy Wednesday. You are halfway through the week and you are doing an awesome job with all of your work. I know sometimes it can be hard, especially at home. Maybe you don't feel like doing your work, but you're doing a really great job and I am so proud of you. So please keep it up. Let's take a look at our slides for today. Good morning, second graders. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd. Your reading goals are the same. The materials that you're gonna need for reading today are how to raise bean plants text. And this is in your packet, or it's at the link at the bottom of the screen, right down there, where you can find that. You're gonna need a um, pencil and a highlighter, and then your independent reading books. Success criteria stays the same as does vocabulary. Before reading this text, again, take a picture walk. What do you notice? What do you wonder? I see a few text features in this one, so maybe you notice that too. While you're reading, you're gonna read it twice. The first time you're reading, you're gonna underline where the jar of beans should be kept. The second time you're reading, you're gonna highlight the sentence that tells you which part of the plant grows down. So this is kind of a cool text because you can actually do this at your house. Mr. Rep and I are gonna try this because we just started a garden. So you'll have to let me know how it goes if you do decide to try it. After that, you're gonna do an activity from your choice board. Remember, you're trying to get three in a row. And this middle one, we're gonna work on on Friday. Then find your comfy spot and start reading. Again, if you wanna ever share with me what you're reading, you can post a picture, post a picture of yourself reading. We can talk about your book. You can really post that to Google Classroom and I will answer back. Math success criteria is I can describe flat and solid shapes by talking about their attributes. I can draw shapes with certain attributes and I can tell what a quadrilateral is. And your learning goal is the same. Ooh, this is a fun one. So today in math, you're going to play Jeopardy. So if you're playing this game online, you have to be in the present mode to play. So the mode that I'm in right now. If you're using the packet, you can use the Jeopardy board there, and you can cross out questions that you've already used so you don't repeat. You're also going to keep track of the score. The person with the highest score at the end of the game wins. So you can click here for that online Jeopardy board. And after that, you're done. You might want to practice your math facts a few times. And then head on over to Google Classroom to see if there's any other assignments you need to do for the day. Thank you so much for working your hardest. I really appreciate all your hard work. And I will see you tomorrow.